This is Twit. So uh, Microsoft did a C week update, you know, which is when they let IT managers see what's going to be in Patch Tuesday. So they did their usual one this week. Um, there's a long change list of what is coming um, in this cumulative update on Patch Tuesday. You know what's not mentioned? <laughs> yep. What's not mentioned is at all is that, oh, the set default browser button is back. But yeah, it's it's there. So but does it work? <laughs> yes, mm. it does. Um, it works. So it works for the for at least a few of the most important categories that people care about. It doesn't set every setting, right? Like, but we knew that because they had been testing this since last year in the dev channel. Right. So we knew how this was going to work. Um, but I, the most appalling thing to me is they didn't even acknowledge that this is in there and this is a big deal, right? Like it, I, I asked them, is this in there? And I didn't get an answer. So I'm like, let me download the C-Week, even though I never do this. Like I, I was a seeker. I went, got it, downloaded it. I'm like, yeah, it's there. A C-Eker? Yes. <laughs> oh, is that what C-Week means? Yes, yes. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you, you can now with a single button like you do in Windows 10, go back and set most of the default settings in one place at one time instead of having to go through this long list they have of which app do you want to be associated with this? Which one with this? Which one with this? Uh, that was just that was just really a way to make it so it was hard to switch out of Edge. They can say whatever they want about the reason they did that, but that's what it was. <laughs> so does this I'll tell you, no, fulfill Sorry. your dreams, Paul? I mean, is it do what you wanted the one click button to do? Does it do what it used to no, do? No, no, of course not. But okay. it, uh, no, it's not this. It, it doesn't. Here's the, it doesn't. But it is, look. It's when not the they, same. It's not the same. When we looked into this last fall, the thing that I did finally determined was there were four maybe five file types or link types that you needed to change to get the effect of what we're getting now with a single click. And those things are HTM and HTML, uh, HTTP and HTTPS, and optionally, if you like to use your other browser, whatever it is for PDF, you could change that one as well. So like the most so obvious you, protocols. Are, yeah. Yeah. So if, yeah. And if you go into this thing and you say, well, I want to make uh, Chrome my default browser, those, those are literally the five things that change. The other uh, file associations that Chrome, in this case, could take on, SHTML, SVG, WebP, et cetera, et cetera, FTP, these things are not converted from, uh, from Edge. So it's not, it's actually not the same, but Microsoft has been subtly, non-subtly moving away from that one click actually works thing for a couple of Windows versions now. You know, back in Windows 8, Windows 7, I think, you could literally go in and say, I want everything on this new thing. And it would, you could, there was a way to do that. Now it's still very ponderous, but mm -hmm. I honestly, the, the biggest advantage of this being there, other than we made them blink, is <laughs> you don't get that annoying pop-up on the first choice change where it says, are you sure you don't want to browse the web safely with internet or a Microsoft Edge? It's so much better than the thing you're about to choose. Like there, there was that one last little, are you, you know, sure you don't get that? Your... Actually, I'm not sure because now I don't see it. <laughs> but I know I don't because see I saw I... somebody say they still were getting the pop up when they went okay, to, okay. to choose. Well, Chrome. so I actually, <laughs> so while we were while you were talking about it, I actually switched all the defaults back yeah. to Edge and then switched back to Chrome, yeah. and I didn't see it. So actually, I'm not 100 percent sure. But yeah. um, it's it, look, it's easier, it, it, and I think for most yeah. use cases, it solves the problem. But you got to remember. There's all those other things in Windows that are never going to go to your default browser. So the widgets, right. if you click on anything in widgets, that's opening an edge. Start yeah. search, that's opening an edge. Like yeah. you can't, you're not getting rid of edge. You know, it's not, it's no. not, re, it's, it's, I find that to be, I don't know, dishonest, disingenuous. I'm not sure yeah. what the term is, but. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, again, without being you know, too pedantic about it, it's, I think it solves the problem for most people. No, let's be pedantic about it. You know what? It doesn't solve. The problem. I'm really. <laughs> well, that's what we said before. Stuff. Is that just fixing those? You know, automatically doing. It's 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 a, it's just, it's. You it's wanted like to change to everything. Something without you. You. We've met the letter of the apology, but we haven't met the right. the point of the complaint, which yeah. was, I want my browser to be my browser. <laughs> I want this thing I've chosen, right. whether it's Chrome or Firefox or Brave or whatever, to launch every single time anything related to the web happens. 
Mm. That's what I want. That's why I chose it. Yeah. Yeah. And Microsoft's not doing that. You know. No. But just the fact they did this much, I'm like, okay, this is good. Because all we knew up to this point yeah. was it was in the dev channel, yeah. which means it may or may not ever show up in the product, right? So then they no, just suddenly true. put it into this cumulative update that means it's going to be in the Patch Tuesday updates for everyone. So, we can't... Okay. It, it's kind of hard to say how we might have reacted if this was the interface to begin with, right? If, if right. Windows 11 shipped this way originally, I think most people would have looked at it, would have thought nothing of it. You know, if I yeah. go to, I, I don't know, I mean, like, I'll have to do this now, you know, install Chrome after this thing has been changed. Go in, Chrome will say, hey, do you want to be the default browser? You say, yes. Will that mm -hmm. cause this to happen or do I have to click a button? Mm -hmm. I probably have to click the button. Okay, whatever. I so it's like one extra step. Yeah. I think so too. Yeah. It's not a big deal. I think no. most people will move right on and not think about it. And they'll think mm -hmm. they got the same thing. But I think people like me, you know, sorry, yeah. the people who are broken inside, will <laughs> see that list of things that are not switched over because it's right yeah. in front and center now yeah. and say, you know, mm -hmm. this isn't actually the same as what yeah. they used to do a few versions ago. It's not. I, they've been, but it's they've so been much better back. for normals. It is. So much better for normals. So. I think so. Yeah. Although, you know, but again, I, I don't know how confusing or weird it would be for someone uh, who was like, I am a Chrome user and I do mm. want to use widgets. And mm -hmm. every single time you click on a news story you know, about someone who looks great in a bikini or whatever the stupid thing is <laughs> that's in there all the time, uh, it's going to open into a different browser. And is that going to be weird? Yeah. Is that going to be upsetting? No, that is weird. Yeah, I don't like that. It is. I don't know. Oh, it's not. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. No, you're right. You're right. It is. But but trying to tell somebody before this button existed, like a normal person, like, here's how you have to go in and try yeah, to no, set that's... your browser as Chrome. Oh, the I'm worst. Like trying to explain this. The worst. I'm like, yep. yeah. <laughs> so, Paul, what is the protocol that you would want to reassign so that is Edge popping up just for things like in the Microsoft News? Feed so, the or? things I just described, you can't fix because they're going to, oh, they've actually prevented they're hard wire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, in the early days of Windows 11, which, by the way, was just six long months ago, um, <laughs> people figured out what those protocols were. They wrote little apps, right. or like browser makers yeah. wrote uh, like things news, that would prevent that. Colon slash slash. Microsoft is mm -hmm. yeah, whatever it was. Yeah. It was something. Yeah, it was some yeah, URL like protocol. That. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, yeah, it was a protocol handle or whatever. I don't remember the whatever it was. It doesn't matter because they're they're blocking those workarounds. So yeah. There's little things in here, like um, I, did I close it? I close it. But there were there were file formats like things like WebP or SVG, which are graphics formats mm -hmm. essentially. Those stay with Edge for some reason. Oh, I, that's weird. It's weird. Yeah. If you have a graphics application like Affinity Photo or Photoshop or something, you probably want to associate those with that, right? I guess, mm -hmm. and that would be true no matter what web browser you use. But right. I, I do find it odd that if you click on a WebP file or something it will open and not in your browser, it will open some other browser. And it's yeah. like, I, what, what is the point of that? Right. You know? yeah. So it's they can strange. say how many people are edge users and right. make sure that it right. opens some time in the month. Yeah, but the edge users should be edge case edge users. users. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Honestly, I would yeah. use edge if they hadn't kind of junked yeah, it up. It up. Yeah, yeah, no kidding. <laughs> I mean, it is Chrome, and so you can use all the Chrome extensions, right? And I still I use it, but I ha I have to keep going uh, in and like squashing things as they add them. Yeah. Like, okay, turn that yeah. off. Turn that it's off. Turn that off. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I as terrible as this sounds, um, I I waited years for this to come together. I was so happy that they did this. I've always promoted the notion of what a lot of people want. I'm talking hundreds of millions, possibly billions of people, is Chrome, but without all the yeah. Google stuff. De-Googled Chrome. What an yeah, opportunity it, for Microsoft. It sounds like such a great product. Yeah. And using both Chrome and Edge, I got to tell you, Chrome works way better than Edge. It's quicker. It comes mm -hmm. together faster. If I uh, bring up a new computer and I have to sign into an account and have it load all my extensions and all that stuff, Chrome is like, boop, done. Edge, you gotta, you sit there and you wait. You're like, Here, okay, it's eventually those things are going to... Mm. I mean, it's just... Are there other so much going on. Chromium yeah. browsers that uh, maybe like Vivaldi that you like or Brave that you like as much? I like Brave, but I, but you have to draw this line there because Brave isn't something I can recommend to kind of a broad audience. Like, it's not something you would recommend on your radio show. Yeah. Um, it's a little too technical. Right. Um, I, I, I There's... I, Honestly, I for the people who listen to my radio show, yeah, they use Safari on the Mac. They use Edge on Windows. Yeah, 
Yeah. Uh, it's the default. Right. And you just, yep. yeah. uh, don't, you just I, use it. It's not worth fighting. <laughs> yeah. it's the, the disadvantages are so yeah. minor that it's not worth fighting. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Right. So for the technical audience, um, this is the, you know, the needs of the many out the need the way the needs of the few. I George W. Bush that somehow um, is <laughs> is true here. Right. Like there's an enthusiast audience. Yeah. They know what they're doing. They're technical. They can do this. I don't have to explain that to them. And so mm -hmm. if you're watching this show, probably you could handle Volvaldi or Brave or whatever browser you want to use, Opera, what it doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. um, I, this is not something I would recommend to my wife, to my mother, to my family, you know, to normal people. So, yeah, you're kind of stuck with the big two or three, right? Yeah. So you're picking your poison there. You're going to be mm -hmm. stalked by somebody. <laughs> Good luck, you know? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I wish it was better. I really, really, really wish that Edge was this streamlined Chromium thing. Yeah, and as it, it started out. it could have out. a screen at yeah. the beginning with like a grid of features. What, you know, do you want any of these? Oh, no, been, yeah. you know. What yeah. could have been? Oh, I'd love that. I would be yeah. so, I'd be, I would be so happy. I think everybody would have been happy if they had just made a simple Edge, not something you want to customize or anything. That grid of features, that's fine, right. but that's for you. Yeah. But just a plain, clean, simple yeah. browser yeah. Handled well, PDFs. Every time um, we talk light. to anyone, edge light, anyone, <laughs> edge light, <laughs> edge S. Anyone who anyone who works for mode. a company that makes browsers <laughs> talks about getting you know getting out of the way of all the yeah. content. You know, let the content mm -hmm. shine through. It's about the content, not the Chrome, and blah blah blah. Yeah. And now there's like 118 built-in features in Edge, and it's like, yeah, now it's about your content. Like, mm -hmm. it's. Well, that's, people just want to go to the sites they go to. They don't want your nonsense for collecting. Welcome, lists welcome to of capitalism. That, you know, that's you yeah. know, in a yeah. nutshell, what's wrong with computing in general is yeah. that instead of doing what they be best for their users and the customers, they do right. what's good for business. And it's this tension: right. how far can we push what's good for our business without pushing away customers? But it's always well, going to be for what's good for this, business. This default browser thing we were just talking about is an example of, I think, Microsoft reaching a little too far yeah. in that direction. Yeah. There was a lot of negative feedback. And it was really hard to justify. Well, I, I'm sorry, you're sending my grandmother into an interface where she has to know which ones of these things to change. Are you kidding me? Like, that's, it, it's so indefensible. Um, so they, you know, they stepped back from the cliff. They didn't. Computing would be so different. In yeah. a world where companies just said, you know, Jeff Bezos' false mantra, you know, customer-centric. If they sure. just said, look, we're just going to do what's right for the customer every single time. <laughs> um, I think computing would be a different experience. It's such a good story because they all do say that. Yeah, they all they lie. <laughs> yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, for well, instance, messaging would be unified. Great. All messaging would talk to all other messaging. Yeah. No, but Leo, uh, it's better for Apple's customer if all un messaging is not unified. Yeah. Because no one who uses Apple products has friends that don't use Apple products. Right. So why would <laughs> you ever? A crazy. How can you ever use justify? Android? Why would you, you ever? Know, it's insane. It's, it's insane. <laughs> so, I mean, there is this kind of, um, and it's completely a bogus ut utopian vision, but there's this kind of notion of, and, it, and yeah. you know why it persists is because people like you and me, Paul, are old enough to remember a day when computing was a hobbyist thing, not a business thing, it didn't last very long. But at that at that point, it was very exciting and interesting, and you felt like uh, you know we were working yeah. together. And uh, and then you know AOL came along, and I just got into this with the you know this idiot who you left OnePlus and created this company called what, Nothing. Is oh, yeah. nothing. Is, Car is hey, nothing. Pay. Like yeah. it's like. Remember when the smartphone industry used to be exciting? Yeah, I do. But now I know that it's like the <laughs> most common used personal computing device for the entire planet. Yeah. So it's not really exciting. Can, we can't handle exciting anymore. Yeah. Like it's not exciting now. It's just like n necessary. You know. Utilitarian. It, you, well, yeah. If, if you want to be exciting, move on to the next thing. And yeah. by the way, while you're doing it, stop pretending you're Steve Jobs. Nobody cares. I, I just. <laughs> This this is the divide between enthusiasts and um, you know normal people. It's like I just wanted to yeah. be cool. Well, that's neat. Yeah. I just want to get my job done, and then I want to go have dinner. Yeah. Like I, you know, and this is actually the problem with this Microsoft stuff because unfortunately, they've stepped over the other edge of it. They're not trying to make it cool. They have this business initiative to drive people to the services and other products. Right. And it's getting in the way of the it's user very experience. Simple. It's very simple. Yeah. 
Um, I wish they wouldn't, you know, kind of misrepresent it as being c customer centric. But yeah. you know, yeah, I, I understand. Yeah. I don't expect them to be customer centric. They're they're, they're stakeholder centric. <laughs> I, kind of do. I, I wish they I wish they were. But well, yeah. they're stakeholder centric. That's that's how yeah. the world is. Okay. Yeah, that's true.